Oh my God, that scared me so bad. What's up, y'all? Don't mind us, we just wanna try a new pond today. Looks like some private property that is probably a no fishing designated area. But uh, we're gonna see if we can't get anything real quick. Oh, there's a sign over that way. So let's go over here. We wanna fish where there's not signs. That way we can act like we didn't see any. I think this fountain was going the last time I was here. She ain't rolling now. Oh, this looks juicy. Watch this. I'm gonna try and come down here and fish by this tree because there's uh, this bridge here that looks real good. Oh, this could be killer. I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lure caught in this tree though. Check this spot out. There's some columns under this bridge. There's even some turtles hanging out. I'm on this windblown side. Yo, this could be, this could be killer. A little windy, a little cloudy. Let's just throw the rip knocker. Never fished here before. Don't expect to get away with fishing here for very long, so probably should try and uh, get the rip knocker back in here. There's turtles, so that's good. Throw that branch over here. I'm just cleaning out the waterways for these folks. Gotta say, I'm quite sure there's fish in here. It is a Friday and probably 4.30 p.m. So everyone's probably just ready to get, get home. I don't think they care about kicking a fisherman out too much today. But I've been wrong before. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right off the wall. That's what I'm talking about. Right off the wall, guys. First fish. Alright, y'all. First time ever fishing this super private spot right over here with a bunch of no fishing signs. And look what we pulled out right off the bat. Uh, got him a little bloody. I'm going to get him back in the water. He'll be just fine. The treble just got him a little deep. But uh, that came... That little guy came right off this wall right there. He was right next to the edge as soon as it hit the water. That was awesome, man. We're gonna get back in there and try and catch some more. I think we can get a big one out of here now. That's a good sign, man. That was first one real quick. Like I said, uh, we're throwing the rip knocker that came in a MTB Pro Box, mystery tackle box, you guys, if you're unfamiliar. But let me go ahead and cast a line back in there and see if we can't get some more rip knocker hits before we get the boot. All right, guys, that was literally like three or four minutes in. Three or four minutes in. I'm gonna cast a, oop. I'm gonna hit the wall is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cast on that wall a little bit more. See if we can't go. Oh, whipped it. Back to back. Back to back. Oh my god. They're on fire right now, y'all. Back to back cast. Did y'all see that? That was oh my goodness. Three minutes in. Four minutes in now, maybe. The bite is on fire. It's supposed to be 10 out of 10 today based on the bass forecast app. I'm just gonna grab the pliers again. No way. That was back to back cast. That wall could be stacked. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, super pumped. I, I even totally forgot. Oh, hold tight. I totally forgot to even mention that was my first catch ever on our brand new rod right here. This is the uh, Defender. Check that sucker out. This is our newest favorite rod. If you guys are curious about this rod, you can actually pick this up for 80 bucks or under using my discount code at the top of the description, just Weston20 at checkout. You can grab a favorite rod for a bargain price, man. Pumped. It'll get you suckers like this. Huge fish, man. Only the finest, biggest, fattest fish in Tejas. You know what I'm saying? Let's get him back in the water. I'm feeling good now. I'm going to leave y'all rolling over here. We're going three for three. Getting up under there. This could be a good one. I think we're about to get hit. Missed him. That's okay. There we go. Right against the back wall. This would be good. Got him. Got him. There we go. Got him. There we go. Biggest one yet. Third fish in 10 minutes, guys. 
The bite is on, guys. Today's a good day. I can guarantee you they've never seen a fishing lure over here, I bet. Like, people do not fish this spot. Get her done, y'all. I'm just excited. I've been here 10 minutes. I don't know what to say. They're going crazy, man, for the lipless crankbait rattle trap mixture. It's got a little... This is what we're throwing, guys. This is the uh, Janko Fishing Rip Knocker. That'll get it, man. Lipless crank with the little rattle. Killing it. This thing is doing work. Insane. They keep biting right by my feet, but I do want to catch one out here. Would be rewarding to get a big one out where it looks so fishy on those walls in the back. Would definitely be down for that. Right by my feet. Like they're all hitting right here. They're probably, holy tree. They're all hitting it just right in front of me. Imagine if it was a five pounder that hit that. Oh my gosh. I would be just cracking up. Just give me a bite, y'all. Uh, bass, I caught three in 10 minutes. What? I've never fished here, but they drained this pond that I like to try and would you believe it? I'll always. Oh yeah, I just do it for the fun and I make videos for YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's try another area in here. Okay, y'all, we caught those first three real quick and then the bite just totally stopped, so I'm gonna move, switch spots. Let's see what happens. Windblown bank. Surely this side's got some giants in it. Let's give this thing a shot. All right, spot number two. Oh, there's one. There's one. Swimming towards us, I think. Oh, it's not too bad. Wow, that's almost, I'd say, the biggest one of the day, but... What seems to work today is just uh, making these moves. As soon as I head to the next spot, I kind of get a couple hits right off the bat. He hit the rip knocker quite a ways out here by the fountain. I'm gonna not delay anymore and try and get a few more. That's the fourth fish of the session, I believe. They're digging the moving baits today, guys. They are on the hunt. That was doing that yo-yo technique as well. A little bit different than the first pond where I was just keeping a steady retrieve. What I'm doing now is just bringing that rod tip up and then reeling that slack in on the way down. And what happens is your lipless crankbait, he starts swimming along and then he pauses. When you, when you drop that down and you reel in the slack, he pauses. Oftentimes that's when you'll get a strike. Oh, oh my God, we got another one. See, just like that, right on the pause. Right on the pause. Wow, biggest one of the day, I think. Come on up here. Wow, there we go, guys. This could be a two and a half. Oh, big jaws. This one's a 2.42. <laughs> it's the biggest one of the day. I was just saying that, uh, slamming it, man. They are just, they're hungry right now. That's number five, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get back in here. Hope y'all are enjoying the tips today, man, because they're actually working. <laughs> Always good when you give a tip and it works as you're describing it. That doesn't happen every day in fishing. Let me promise you that. How many times have you other creators drop a comment below, been talking about a tactic that you always use and it always seems to work, and then you're talking about it and you ain't catch no fish. <laughs> it, uh, it happens, I get it. Oh, oh, look, it's a catfish. It's a catfish. Did y'all catch that? Did he just try to go for the rip knocker or am I just, I think that catfish, did y'all, I hope that's, oh my goodness. It might have been slightly out of view at the, at the first second that happened. That catfish totally just surfaced and I think it was because we ripped the rip knocker. No way. I thought it was a, no way. 
And guys, when you do this uh, yo-yo technique that I'm talking about right here, that I actually got this from Yak Pack Outdoors. When you're doing this and you start getting closer to the bank, you'll, you'll, you'll know the depth basically after you fish the pond for a little bit. But if it gets pretty shallow, which is quite common, then you don't do the yo-yo all the way in. I recommend doing it out in the deeper areas. You have a chance to let this thing fall and kind of get in the strike zone if maybe they're hanging out a little bit lower that day. But also as you get close, say right about here, 10 feet out, 15 feet out, you might just start cranking it at a consistent pace. That way you don't drop all the way to the bottom and then get stuck with those treble hooks because that will happen and you won't be happy. There we go. Is he on? Yep. Oh, that's a, that's a yes. <laughs> there we go. That's number three out of this spot here. Number six of the day. They're all healthy in this pond here. Awesome. There we go. There's number three out of this spot. Private spot. We are just absolutely yanking these things out today, guys. This is number three out of here, number six so far today. Let's get them back in the water and get some more for y'all. Tough to want to put this down, but I really want to get a good hook set with the uh, bandito bug. I think we're, we're on a roll, and I don't mind if I don't catch anything for another minute. Let me just try and throw the let me throw the trench hog for a minute. I want to catch something on this big sexy so bad. What's going on? I'm going to go with the blue baby for a second because it's got a little bit more flash. And then we're just going to uh, revert back to the rip knocker. Oh my god! That scared me so bad. Do we even know what that was? Do you know what my heart rate is doing right now? I do not know how big that fish was. Okay. Rip knocker. That was insane. I was swimming it in. Oh my god absolutely insane oh my oh wow oh my gosh i'm not even worried that that fish just came off my heart everything's racing that was insane i don't know if that was the same fish right there he did not seem as crazy wow did that all just shake down oh got one okay rip knockers where it's at Fish number seven, guys. Just missed fish number eight. Uh, well, technically this would be eight. Just missed fish number seven. This is now fish number seven. We got it right. There's a Dodge Ram doing donuts. I just got the crap scared at me by this last explosion on the top water. I said top water on the bandito bug that I was swimming and he just bursted out of the top. Anyways, today's ridiculous. If you guys have never used this app, If y'all have never used Bass For, if y'all have never used Bass Forecast app, it said that today's rating is a 10 out of 10. It literally said today was going to be an epic Bass Forecast. Like there should be so many bites happening. So that's the Bass Forecast app, guys. Today's a 10 out of 10. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've seen like 9 or 9.2, 9.5, but it's literally saying that the bite is on today. Man, it's not even really prime time right now. I would say like it's it's 5:30. I gotta be to work at six, but if I could fish until like 7.30 tonight, do you know how many fish I would probably catch just at this pond throwing this thing? And I'm sure soon enough, as they all start to come up shallow to feed, which I'm assuming is gonna be the deal here in a little bit, they would probably just hit anything and it would be so much fun. All right, let's, let's walk a little ways. Let's come over here, try something different. The same, but different, you know what I'm saying? Nice little drain right over here. This could be where the fives hang out. On a Friday. Oh! Oh my gosh! Darn it! <gasps> Darn it! Big one! He swiped it and took it so fast. That's the biggest one of the day. Now we caught a three. 3.26, guys. Three and a quarter. How dope is that? 
Biggest one of the day, solid three. Oh my goodness, I'm pumped, man. I think that's fish number eight. That one, we, just, we gotta just get another one. Wow, literally right here. I feel like, I feel like the drag needs to get tightened up over here. Let's get back over to the monster bank. Oh, oh wow. That was a hit. That was a hit right there. What do we have on here? Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Come on. I would be so thrilled if it was a big fish. Doesn't feel like it's fighting too hard. Must be like a two and a half. Oh, it could be, it could be a little bigger. It could be a little bigger. We're letting it go. We're having some fun. Oh, is that a catfish? Oh, wow. Oh, it's taking some. I think it is a catfish. <laughs> it is a catfish. God dang. Wouldn't you know we were gonna get a catfish today? It is like a regular occurrence for me. Definitely not on a lipless crankbait though. Oh. Okay, that's that. Even the catfish are going today. How crazy is that? Oh, there we go. That's fish number 10. All right, guys. Killing it today. Come on, little buddy. Mm. Oh, he came back for it. I missed him and then he came back. Dope. That's number 11. This one's uh, decent sized. I've caught 10 in a vlog or two now, but I don't think I've ever caught 11, so we're breaking records out here today at these private ponds but I know don't get pressured too much, so. <sighs> that ought to do it, man. I'm pumped, I gotta get to work, it's insane. I wish I could stay and just wreak havoc these next two hours. I don't even know how many fish I would catch. I really have, I could catch 30, 40 fish. All right, I think that about wraps it up. What a crazy session, rip knocker destroying them. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. 11 fish in an hour and a half, crushed it. The bait that caught all these fish is literally the rip knocker. And I would not have even known about this rip knocker lure if it was not for Mystery Tackle Box. So a huge thank you to Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, these boxes have been so crazy, man. I started getting them around the holidays. My wife got me the subscription for the year. And then uh, MTB reached out and wanted to send me a free box every month. They've been seeing what we've been doing over here on YouTube and Instagram. And uh, just really appreciate the opportunity to try new lures every single month. I open the box, something different every single month and you save about 40% off retail prices. It's insane and I actually have my code ready for you guys to use so I'm pumped to announce that. If you guys just actually use code Weston at checkout, you can get your first box for as low as five bucks, man. I'm pumped for you guys to try this stuff out. I'll make sure I put all the details down in the description so you guys know who've been curious about Mystery Tackle Box but haven't given it a shot, uh, exactly what you need to do to sign up and get started and start chunking these baits. And this box, it, we had uh, a couple different crank baits. The Rip Knocker came in this one. This is a $9 bait. This is literally a $9 bait and I got it in an MTV Pro box. So, I mean, it's crazy because I also got an $11 bait in here, a seven, six, $3 bait, $3 bait, $2 bait. You're saving a lot of money and you're trying new things that you wouldn't have tried otherwise. I literally could not be more happy about the subscription just based off the fact that I've caught so many fish on this one rip knocker lure. With that being said, I've caught plenty on their other stuff and I'm excited to do all this, uh, all the work this year with Mystery Tackle Box and Catch Co. But uh, I want to give back to you guys as well. That way you've got an opportunity to try these things. If maybe it was just out of your price range, go ahead and use that code to get a slight discount. And uh, let's go catch some fish, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one, man. Peace out. <gasps>Y'all want to know what's crazy is I actually came here to fish this pond at the boardwalk and they drained it. Like, I'm walking in the pond right now. So, that's what I came to fish.